you know what it is, shdesigns.biz. Sorry, mask off, you know what it is, shdesigns.biz. Reporting live in the middle of quarantine 2020. I hope everyone is at home, staying safe, staying clean, making sure you're washing your hands. So today's special video I'm bringing to you includes me working on two custom Adidas at the same time. Now these were commissioned for Up and Rising Stars Las Villa. They're killing it in the Latino community. They're killing it in the reggaeton community. The stuff is popping. They got like 15 million views with their first video in December. They had another million in another video in January. I'm gonna show you a quick clip. Pretty dope, right? Now without further ado, we're gonna get into how I turn these and this into these dope customs. Thank you. Hold up, before we get into it, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get into it. So the first step for any custom, you want to unlace, sand, and acetone any surface you're painting. Next, I'm printing and cutting out the reference images, which is their logo and their animated images of their faces. I use a pen and a pencil to do the line work on the shoe. I like to make sure that the line work is nice and dark. This way when I'm going through and painting, I can still kind of see the line work. And of course, after the line work is done, next step is the tape. And make sure to press down any edges where you're taping. That way you can avoid any overspray if you're airbrushing. So there are more stencils that I'll be adding on, which is their name and the names of their songs. So next it's time to pour the paint and make sure that you use the adhesion promoter. Once that's set, it's time to airbrush. Let's get right to it. Now you're not going to see the final steps of the galaxy, but I laid a black and I splattered the white over it. Now it's time to peel off the tape. And it's time to paint in the dragon and paint in the faces. Let's take this stencil off really quick. SH Designs, you see the logo. Now that the tape is finally removed, I gotta do the line work really quick. Now it's time to finally paint them in. Let's get to it. These are the colors I'm using for the dragon. Now it's time to add in that crispy white line work. Now I just wanted to add, it took about four coats of the blue and about five coats of the purple that's not shown here just to get that nice pearlescent color going and for the faces it took about three to four coats to get that nice opacity that you see Beats by my boy Tone Cognac by the way I did most of the painting but I just want to show you guys the white line work, the white outline it just makes it pop out so good. Now that the dragon and the faces are painted in, next step is just to seal in your work. And here we are airbrushing it on. Two coats. I also use a mat. Then I also use a waterproof to seal in all the work. And of course you gotta have the custom laces. Now it's almost time for the final reveal. Just have to peel off the rest of the tape. How are we looking so far?
Thank you everybody for watching. Check me out on Facebook, IG, and TikTok at shdesigns.biz. Give me a like, follow, comment, subscribe. Thank you, shdesigns.biz.